let's talk a little more about China, that situation, the opportunity, how it manifests, and what those games mean for China, mm -hmm. and the type of exposure you'll receive mm -hmm. during this opportunity. If you could elaborate a little more. Well, uh, we, we go tomorrow morning, and we arrive at the airport in uh, Hong Kong. Then they were going to fly from Hong Kong to Guangzhou, and they give, they're going to give us a red carpet. I'm going with Mr. Collins for red carpet the next day, uh, all this media stuff, whatever. They have to promote the show. I'm new in that land, and this is a great master. He has about 20 people that works with him. I only have four. So it's like, you know, I just have to prove myself in the sense. Although I'm not competing with him, but I have to prove myself to a point where he will say that, oh, at least he is up to the standard. In his mind, he knows that I'm capable, but he's not looking for my ability, but my availability. That's why he wants me to be available before they can announce the date for the, uh, for the exhibit. And, um, you know, by God's grace, you know, I, I would love to invite you to come, you know, you and your wife, and the gallery. Yes, please. <laughs> so, symbolically, it's almost like a David Goliath type of scenario where he's on a home court advantage. You're coming from the United States, representing Chicago. Yes. Fine Arts South of Roosevelt Road. Yeah. And we're cheering for you, and I'm very proud of that and happy for you. But thank you, thank you. How do you, how do you feel? Well. This is what my, uh, my spiritual advisor told me. He said, once you have the Lord behind you, it's like Goliath and David versus the, the dwarf. So, in other words, I don't have to look at how many people are, so to speak, cheering me up, which they are, which I thank all the collectors in Chicago, um, my great friends, and I don't want to mention their names, but they have really, truly, mentally and psychologically encouraged me to go because this is the state of unknown, it's a state of uh, pure potentials where there's an expectation, but at the same time, I don't know exactly what is going to happen. But somebody once told me that the breeding ground for miracles is expectation. When you are expecting something and when you are walking towards it, it's going to come. That is why in Africa, there's a proverb that says you can stop or, or a moving stream faster than you can stop a man of passion. Because a man of passion doesn't really have to have a plan, but it's just unstoppable because all the forces of the world is with him. So all I have to have is to have a burning heart desire mm -hmm. and an obsession trust in the Lord, and I think I will do something, trust me. Well, in closing, I'd like you to talk about the Abiola I know. As a friend, you know, I really have grown personally, yes. and as an artist, it has always been great. We're going to have to make sure we Skype, because I will miss your friendship in terms of motivating one another, but your spirituality, the way you approach your artwork and your business sense and the way you've been able to braid those three together so well. Can we talk about why that's important, how you've been able to accomplish that end, and any advice to young artists in general about utilizing those three areas of their lives? Okay, number one. Poverty is a state of mind, so also are riches. We artists have a powerful ability to create things in our mind before, so that's why two, things are created twice, most things, all things are created twice. So, but um, the thing that we have to allow to happen is somebody once said that in order to know God or study God, study nature. If we want to study nature, study art. So we have that advantage because to be creative, that is part of God's ability because he created all this universe. So in other words, as an artist, we have to help in bringing beauty, 
So then I've always told or asked the younger or the new generation artists, generation artists to bring beauty, impact knowledge. People should be able to learn from their works and be inspired. To be inspired means I can see your work and go like, oh goodness, I had to go to the studio. If that is not in there, that's a trouble. That's a problem. And in part, a part of the beauty is beauty is the only emotion or the only thing that can compete with other emotions in the world. That's why you see two gentlemen talking about a million dollars, a beautiful woman passes by, and that is going to contest. Their art should be able to do that. So that's why if, if my art is not able to do that in somebody's home, that's a challenge on my part. I want people to say, wow, here comes Abiola's piece. Let's move our furniture. Wow, let's create space. I love that. They have to have that beauty. That is easy to do. The second part that is harder to do is the intention be behind the beauty. Is the intention behind the beauty. The first is easy to do. The second, very difficult. Yes. Excellent. Well, Abby. Say Abby affection <laughs> and with sincere spirit. Thank Please you. go with God. Amen. Go knowing you have a whole art community behind you. And thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you. And I would love to seize the opportunity to thank my wife, I didn't care. And my children. I have four children. They have been very supportive of everything. And I thank you as a friend. Thank you. You have You're been welcome. you have been a faithful friend. Our friendship has been the friendship that is above the surface level. There are three kinds of love in this world. Surface love, romantic love, and divine love. I think ours is a divine love. You are able to listen to me as a friend. When I go wrong, you have been able to tell me, and you want me to improve. And likewise here. Thank you very much for your friendship. Thank you, Abby. God bless. Have a safe trip. Amen. All right. Thank you. Until next time, thank you.